Alrighty, if you're watching this video, then that means Entei has returned to Raid Battles, and this legendary Fire-type Pokémon is absolutely one of the best Fire-types that you can have, so you will not want to miss out on this Raid Boss while it is out in Raids. And then of course, Entei can also be shiny as well, making it a really powerful trade chip. You will not want to miss out on getting a shiny Entei. And I'm going to be telling you how you can defeat this boss with the least amount of trainers as possible, Let's roll the intro and get right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be covering Entei. Entei is of course one of the strongest fire type legendaries in the game. It has extremely high TDL, it's extremely useful in a lot of different game modes. It's going to absolutely benefit you if you have a really good Entei in your arsenal. It's a really great Pokemon to make your teams well rounded, and if you are going for unique Pokemon raid challenges, then Entei is a must, considering that fire types are far and few between that are really good, and Entei is definitely one of those that are going to pack a really good punch. But in any case, let's jump right into it. So Entei is of course a pure fire type, which means it's going to be weak against water types, rock types, and ground types. And there's quite a lot of those at your disposal. So let's start with the water types. First and foremost, you will want to make sure you have Mega Blastoise. It is a very powerful water type Pokemon, and it's going to boost up all of your other water types that are going to be in the raid. So having a Mega Blastoise is always going to be extremely helpful especially if you are looking to two-man this boss because yes Entei can be two-manned but you will need the absolute best water type attackers in order to achieve that. Next up we also have Kyogre. Kyogre is of course one of the most powerful water types in the game and it is a Pokemon that is going to dish out quite a lot of damage and of course because Kyogre has a lot of TDO it's going to survive a lot of Entei's moves which will allow you to do a lot more damage with Surf. Quite Quite honestly, I think the most ideal setup is having a Mega Blastoise opener with Water Gun and Hydro Cannon, and then five Kyogres with Waterfall and Surf. You're going to dish out quite a lot of damage against Entei, and you're also going to last long enough where you will not have to rejoin the lobby. But if you are lacking in Kyogres, there's plenty of other water types that you can bring. One of the most powerful water types that often gets overlooked is of course Kingler. Kingler with Bubble and Crab Hammer is kind of like a glass cannon when it comes to water types, so it's going to dish out quite a lot of damage against Entei. If you are pressed for time, if you are going with the least amount of trainers as possible and you want to dish out as much damage as you can in a short amount of time, then Kingler might be a good option for you to use. And then of course there's other good water types like Gyarados, that's always going to be really useful against Entei. And then of course other non-legendary water types are useful as well, like Vaporeon and of course Blastoise. But it's not just water types that Entei is weak against you could also opt to use rock types as well. Considering that there's a lot of high damage dealing rock types that are available in the game, you could opt to use rock types if you do not have really good water types. In fact, I would say that both of these types can be interchangeable. Depending on what type you have the strongest Pokemon with, I would honestly just go with that. In terms of rock types, you could go with Rampardos. It's always going to be one of the strongest rock types in the game. You could also go with Terrakion. It's kind of like the rock type type version of Entei, so it's going to have some pretty high TDO. It's definitely going to pack a big punch. And then of course in terms of Mega Evolutions, you could go with Aerodactyl or with Tyranitar. Both of these Pokemon dish out quite a lot of rock type damage, but make sure you have rock type moves when you bring them, so that it is the rock type attacks that get boosted up by the Mega Bonus. You could also opt to use ground types as well, but honestly when it comes to ground types, there's very few that will dish out as much damage as much as rock types and water types, so I would stick with either of those. But if you want to use ground types, you could always use Pokemon like Groudon and Rhyperior. They're always very reliable Pokemon to use against Entei, but again, I would rather just go with water types and rock types instead, considering that both rock types and water types are more easily accessible and they are just going to dish out that much more damage, I would just go with either of those. Now of course, like I mentioned early on, Entei can be two-manned with just two trainers, but 
I highly suggest that both of those trainers are maxed out at level 40 at least and they have all of their Pokemon at level 40 at least with at least one Mega Evolution. And then of course you will want to make sure you have the friendship bonus as well along with any kind of best buddy bonus that you could apply for additional levels. And then of course if you are maxed out even further than level 40 and all of your Pokemon are higher than level 40 then that is of course going to make your dual raid that much easier. But Entei is a little bit more on the harder side when it comes to duos so I highly suggest you go with about four trainers if you want to defeat Entei safely. It's really not that difficult of a boss especially compared to some of the other raid bosses that we've had but it is still going to give you a little bit of trouble if you are going up against it with just one other trainer. And of course if Entei is weather boosted it's going to make your encounters that much more difficult but if you want to defeat this Pokemon easily then make sure you're going out in rainy weather or cloudy weather because that's going to give your rock types and your water types a nice hefty weather boost. Speaking of weather boosts, Entei is weather boosted by Sunny of course because it is a fire type and if you are looking for the perfect IV of Entei you will want one that is 1984 and if it's weather boosted the number you're going to be looking for is 2480. Entei does have a shiny type available in the game so if you are looking for a shiny version of this legendary then that is also going to be available to you and in terms of what moves it can have it can have fire spin or fire fang for its fast moves and then in terms of its charge moves it could have overheat fire blast flamethrower iron head and flame charge in terms of raid dps i would say fire spin and overheat are always going to be the heaviest hitters but if you're planning to use this pokemon in pvp then maybe fire fang iron head and flame charge are going to be a lot more effective for you although i don't really know if entei has any kind of pvp uses maybe in the master league when it is fully maxed out it could be some use but honestly when it comes to entei it's going to be a raid dps pokemon and even a gym battling pokemon so expect to use it for those game modes but it's still really well rounded so if you're having difficulty with team go rocket battles for example then entei could be a reliable pick I've used my 100% Entei in pretty much every aspect of Pokemon Go aside from PvP. I've used it in Team Go Rocket Battles mostly considering that a lot of Pokemon that are weak against fire types will just get melted down by Entei. And then of course when it comes to Entei it's going to have a lot of TDO so it's going to survive a lot of different hits. As opposed to Pokemon like Moltres or even Reshiram they're kind of like glass cannons so they get melted down pretty easily. I really like using Entei in a lot of different situations where TDO is going to matter a lot more. So yeah, you do not want to miss out on this Pokemon. It's definitely going to be extremely useful. And yeah, go out and raid as much as you can. And if you're looking for remote raid invites, make sure you share your friend's code down below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If you did, make sure you share it with your friends and all of your raid mates. And yeah, leave your comments down below. Have you caught a shiny Entei yet? Do you have a 100% IV Entei? What are you using your Entei's for? Let's have a great discussion. And I really hope you enjoyed it. I am Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.